So how should we design learning experiences that are engaging and relevant? Engaging, um, I think it should be designed around the student's need, mm. um, because they all learn differently, as you know. And I, I so, <laughs> yeah, so what sparks their interest? Um, what is their environment, mm. their culture, their background? How does all of that, you know, even the neighborhood, how does that all um, intertwine mm -hmm. into their learning? And how do you feel like teachers can better um, understand who, who the children are and what they might need? Relationship. Mm. You have to build a relationship and know your student, know who you're teaching, mm -hmm. um, know that family. You may have a student who is bubbly, but they may come in one day and they're quiet and they're withdrawn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you don't have that relationship, you'll never know. You'll never understand what's going on. To say, hey, how's it going today? Mm -hmm. So it's all about relationship. And so have you seen teachers building those relationships and being able to understand uh, students at a deep level? I have not experienced that because I, I don't have um, the connection in the, mm -hmm. in the schools like I would like to mm -hmm. in a world public schools. I've seen it in my, you know, my son's school. You see your own children. In my own children. And so there was not really any connection uh, or relationship building, that type of thing. But it was um, relationship in this last school that he graduated yeah. from in May. So the principal was key on relationships. Teachers, it's a must have. Right. And if you're not that type of a teacher, then maybe that school is not for you. That to me is really uh, interesting, the, the idea of, um, of the relationships being core to the choices that, that students make, that parents make, and things like that. Um, I'd love to ask a little bit more about the relevancy. Like, how, do you, how does, uh, does a student see the work going on in the classroom as relevant to them? I think real life. Mm. So how can I use this um, even now in my day to day? Yep. How can my my the book education, the online education, all link up with my life? Right. So how can that be hand in glove? Huh. And what is how can you make how can a teacher make that relevant for the student so they can see that vision and even moving forward um, into their continued um, educational career? Nice. And so it becomes something for them. It sort of builds on itself right over time. it just grows you know it's um it's almost like a ground leaf just growing just taking off and growing <laughs> you know i do uh, because it's building and so each year should be a year of excitement yep. and adventure and growth for a student so i think that's how you make it relevant for them and how do you feel like we can better um support teachers in making or designing learning experiences that are engaging and relevant? I believe hearing the voice of the teacher, you know, hearing the voice, visiting the classroom mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, seeing what their needs are. Because a lot of time people with bureaucracy, you know, will tie their hands. Uh -huh. But if you are in there, um, leadership is in there or whomever is in there who has the power to make the, the change, I think they should be in there. Mm. And and see what's going on. Hear the voice of the teacher. How can this? How can we help you make this work? I'd love to know what your question is. The the thing that is sort of um, always eating at you, or that you're constantly thinking about. What's the question mm -hmm. that you think we should be asking ourselves and trying mm -hmm. to answer? Hmm. Asking ourselves. Well, plain and simple. Um, are we truly equitable? Hmm. when it comes to education for all children. And what does that mean to you? Um, does everyone have learning tools that they need? Mm. Do they all have, at all northeast, southwest of the district, do, do they all have technology? Mm -hmm. Do mm -hmm. they all have teachers who are engaged? Do they all have administrators assigned to their schools? that are, you know, on the battlefield for, for children <laughs> who are really fighting, mm. you know? And so it, it goes back to sort of your, your original idea about uh, meeting student needs. 
and do the kids have what they need? Do the administrators have what they need? Correct. Um, and that's where sort of equity comes to for, mm -hmm. for you. Um, do you feel like we're asking that question enough? No. How could we do Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, I was just asking, like, like, how do we ask that question more, better, different? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. It should be done in a climate survey, <laughs> you know, that, that, that type of thing, um, where it's anonymous. Mm -hmm. And um, folks have that uh, feeling of security that I can answer, you know, in, in honesty, without mm -hmm. um, backlash or, you know, any type of intimidation, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't hear the people's voice, you never know what's going on, what's happening with them. Are they happy? Yeah. You know, we, are we hemorrhaging good people? <laughs> That type of thing. So yeah. I mean, it needs we need to find out. That's really so I, I think we need to get in there. Uh, we being the district needs to get in there and see what's going on. Is it is it a survey? Is it a brown bag? <laughs> is it a Google Hangout? Whatever it looks like, we get need to be there. asking that question. Exactly. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Well, I really thank appreciate you. that.